All right, can everybody hear me okay? All right, how you doing, Chris? John? Um, I know we got some people on the private group, too. We got people on Instagram. So uh, what I would like to say, I don't know, for some reason, uh, how you doing, John? Uh, Mark, on the uh, group feed, it has some little spinny thing in the center. I don't know what the hell that thing is, and I don't know how to get it to stop. So, um, <clears throat> hopefully it won't be distracting for anybody. Uh, hey, Michael, how you doing? Uh, Jonathan, Brian, David, D, uh, everybody on Instagram. Hey, look, starting next week, I figured out a way, and it was so simple, <laughs> so we can do YouTube at the same time. We haven't been doing uh, YouTube live stream. Uh, but that will that will start next week. I came up with the most simple solution, and um, anyway, it'll be set up. So, um, hey Floyd, man, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a while, brother. I know Floyd's been busy. So anyway, um, I have three. I'm going back to appetizers today. So what I we were going to do a duck. That's what the plan was. I think I even said something about we were going to do a duck. But um, I waited till yesterday to go get a duck, and all the ducks were frozen solid. I couldn't get a fresh duck thawed out. So I kind of screwed up my plan, so I had to uh, come up with another plan. And the, the original plan for this was it was going to be more like a meal. So I changed it to be more of an appetizer, like a tailgating type thing. Something like that. So, but this is the first time I've, I've done it this way. So, um, but hey, it's going to be freaking awesome. So, we're doing three different styles, right? It's going to be chicken breast, um, avocado, jalapeno, Monterey Jack cheese, wrapped in bacon. Then we got another one that's chicken breast, mozzarella cheese, pineapple, and proceed. Prosciutto ham, I couldn't get the freaking prosciutto ham, so I had to get regular ham sliced really thin. I know. I couldn't believe it. Rouse's was out of prosciutto ham. They said they'd been out for like two days. So anyway, and then we're doing one uh, chicken breast stuffed with um, uh, red and yellow pepper and onion with some Monterey Jack cheese. Some of the cheese is optional. Some people really like cheese. Some people are okay I can take or leave some cheese. Uh, the one with the ham and the pineapple, to me, has to have mozzarella cheese with it. That's going to be freaking awesome. And then we have a sriracha dipping sauce to go with it all. So um, um, I don't I don't have anything already cut. Um, so I'm going to be cutting everything up and talking to you at the same time. How you doing, Hal? Ron, Phil, Sal. Again, I can't tell anybody's name on uh, Instagram, um, but uh, and again, we are going to be streaming to uh, YouTube next week, also. So, because we have a lot of people in our VIP, so we have two kind of like areas of our VIP where you can sign up on our website, but then we have the VIP Facebook group. But we actually have a lot of people in our VIP that don't do Facebook. I know it sounds crazy. Um, but they don't, and they get kind of mad. So, um, you know, because they don't get, they're missing out on things just because they don't do Facebook. But they do do YouTube. Some of them just do Instagram. Um, so we're going to hook it up so we want to reach everybody. Um, and I think this should reach everybody, at least pretty damn close. Um, anyway, let me get started. I'm going to cut up the chicken breast. Really, I'm going to cut the chicken breast. It's one breast I'm going to get. It's kind of like you're going to cut it up like you're doing chicken strips, right? Uh, not too thin because uh, you, you want some meat there. I'm not going to pound it out. Uh, I thought about pounding it out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to do this to where I'm just cutting it, cut a pocket, put the stuffing in it, and, uh, and then roll out. I still don't have my gloves. Somebody forgot to order them, and that somebody is me. So... Um, um, I have to uh, make sure I get more gloves, but I have to dash out after I do the chicken, wash my hands, and come back. Um, this is episode number seven, So, and then we have eight, and then the following week I will be out of town uh, 
for that weekend, so we'll have to make it up on another. Hey, Lucas, how you doing, man? Steven. Uh, Brian Green, Sal. We got a good bit of people between all three feeds. We got, I don't know, at least 100 people. Um, and that's pretty cool because we didn't even do an announcement, like in our emails or nothing. I hope you guys are able to take advantage of the rocking um, – uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal we've been, we've had going on. I know, and, and it's been awesome. I don't, I'm not really going to talk much about it because I want to talk about the food. But I'm just saying, you should be getting the emails. I know we kind of pound you a little bit with emails when we have stuff like this going on, but we don't want anybody to miss out. <laughs> okay, so, dude, I'm actually hungry too. I'm starving. Um, so let me get started. And... Um, uh, I don't. I actually don't have anybody fielding questions today, so I'll do my best to uh, to take care of that for you. All right, let's get started. All right. So, so the first thing you need to get your chicken ready, right? Because we want to season it up and let it marinate just a little bit. You really don't need much seasoning um, because you could actually do this with just salt and pepper, right? Um, but I like just a little bit extra of that. So we have um, we have some granulated onion, uh, garlic, salt. We have um, some white pepper, some black pepper, uh, paprika, and it seems like there's something else in here, and I can't remember what it was. Anyway, um, but that's a whole other thing. All right, so anyway, Really, you just want to cut this bad boy right in half. Can everybody see? Okay, see? So you cut it in half, and then you want to kind of fillet it, all right? So you don't want to cut that all the way through. See? So it lays open like that. Can you see that? See? And then we're going to stuff it close it back up, and then wrap it in bacon. All right, so let me get these under control real quick. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. Perfect. Perfect. So this is all simple stuff anybody can do. flat after you cut it. See look, you're cutting it in half. And then if you lay it flat, can you see? So if you lay it flat like this, it's easier to cut. Just make sure you don't mess up and cut your hand. There. Same thing. One more. There you go. All right, so look, let me lay these out. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on them. Get them a little bit of seasoning in there. And uh, then we're gonna toss them in this bowl and let them sit, all right?
Then that would be perfect. All right, so we're not saving any of this season, so. There you go. Stack them right up. Alright, that's good to go. Let me get this chicken shit out of here. Alright, give me two minutes. I'll be right back. So, um, let me put this chicken out the way and kind of get everything else all cut up. All right, so I already have the pineapple cut up. Okay, so you can do this where you can cut long strips of pineapple, but I like dicing it up a little bit. Um, same thing with the onions and the peppers. All right. Has anybody been out shopping for Black Friday? I'm not a Black Friday shopper. Um, I don't, I don't want to fight those crowds. So that's enough onion, right? Because we're not doing a whole lot. That should be plenty of onion. Do we have any questions from anybody? Let me see if we have any questions up in here. Oh yeah, so um, Sal, yeah, so it's it's funny. Sal asked about the um, grill grate, the grill beast grill grate. We actually just made a deal with somebody. He's local to Pat, um, and uh, so we're gonna start the grill beast grill beast grill grates up again. We're also gonna make a grill beast grill grate for the barrel house um, cooker, and we're trying to make it to where we can do custom sizes. Okay, so whatever size you grill you have, we should be able to do it. We actually have some other cool shit that's coming too. Um, we're trying to do a fire pit. The fire pit is very heavy. It's quarter inch thick steel all the way around. It's awesome. It's cool. It's going to be kind of heavy to ship, but we're trying to make all that work. Um, <clears throat> a landscape sharpening system. Uh, I haven't, I'm not familiar with those, dude. Uh, hey, Larry. How you doing? All right, let me get these vegetables all cut up. All right, we don't need a, a ton of peppers, so... That's plenty, and the peppers I'm going to cut pretty much like that. Same thing with the yellow. So you don't want to be too thick because you want them to cook, but you don't want them to be too thin either. Right? Alright, that's the way I like my pepper. 
Alright, what have we got next? Jalapenos. Same thing, don't need too many. It all depends on how many of these you're doing. I'm only doing a few. All right, what else? Avocado, now avocados are sometimes hard to find, nice perfect ones, but I think this one's just about right. And if it's not 100% perfect, it's okay because you're going to be cooking it. You know, you're going to be putting a little heat on it, so it's going to help soften it up. But this one is actually perfect, I think. Alright, there we go. What else? Cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. So we don't need too much cheese, but I'm going to cut this long ways. Alright, I think I have it all cut up. Then I have my ham sitting right here. It's already sliced up, obviously. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We can start assembling. Let me grab a... Um, I'm going to grab something to put, um, put everything on. Just give me one second. Okay, so and then we have our bacon, right bacon. It's crazy, right bacon is the most affordable bacon right now. It makes no sense at all. Right bacon used to be the most expensive bacon. So I'm going to take out uh, one, two, three, four, five. Take out eight pieces. Okay, so. First one, everybody see okay? All right, so the first one I'm going to throw some peppers. Some onion, this is my favorite right here, that's why it's first. A little bit more onion. 
Um, and actually, I don't want cheese in mine, so I'm not putting any cheese in this one. And so literally, you just fold it. Now, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. And it's probably going to take you a couple pieces of bacon to wrap this thing. Do this again. Okay, there you go. Keeping everything in that pocket is the hardest part. Three pieces of bacon. And there you go. Hold up. One down. <laughs> Hopefully this gets easier, right? Alright, so let's do another one with the peppers. Some onion. I'm gonna do cheese in this one too. Just a little bit of cheese. Um a little extra onion. And just, just fold it up. Okay, so as you can see, it does take a little bit of work to get it together, but it does go. Alright, I'm going to need more bacon. Let's do... Let's do...
do um, let's do the ham and pineapple. Ham, pineapple, mozzarella. All right. Break this in half. This is going to be awesome. So I can't tell if we have any questions up there right now. I'm trying to focus on this. So were you guys on last week when I was doing the um, hold up? But anyway, I caught the grill on fire. I don't know if y'all noticed that. This is not. Here we go. That one was the hardest one because of the pineapple. All right, but they're coming together. All right, so let's see. So part of it is is don't put too much in there. Um, let's do another one with the ham. We can get that better than we did last time. A couple pieces of pineapple. And uh, some mozzarella. Now, there, this one's gonna be better. There, that one turned out a lot better. I feel like I should redo this one. Alright. I think I had too much in it. Take out some of this, and some of that. There, that should be better. All right, I should rewrap this thing again. There we go.
There we go. That one's better. All right, which one am I missing? Do we have any uh, questions about anything right now? <clears throat> What's going on? Hey, David. Hey, look. Um, so, yeah, so I'm wrapping um, mozzarella, pineapple, and ham in a chicken breast with bacon. I'm doing uh, peppers, onions, Monterey Jack cheese in a breast with bacon. That's for anybody who's just now coming on. I know it's been a little bit painful to watch me trying to struggle with this thing because it's just been uh, trying, to, trying to keep everything inside. The breast has been a little tough. But as you can see, it just takes a little bit of practice. And uh, like I said, it's the first time I did it like this. So now I'm going to do one with uh, avocado, um, jalapeno, and uh, hey, how you doing, Jennifer, Fred, uh, D. Uh, and then, that, then I'm going to get them on the grill, all right? Got some jalapenos. Got some avocado. And with those, some uh, some jack cheese in there. Maybe another piece of avocado. A little more bacon. So, let's fold this bad boy up. All right, there we go. I'm about almost out of bacon. I only have two slices of bacon left. I'm going to take, get these on. So you want to do these in direct heat for anybody who hasn't done uh, anything with bacon or whatever. <laughs> so I have charcoal on half the grill, and these are going to go in the other half. All right. All right, give me uh, two seconds. I'm going to go wash my hands. Then we can chit-chat about some stuff real quick. Give me a minute.
So, um, so the whole thing about doing this stuff live is just so, um, especially people who haven't done a whole lot of uh, grilling, and they see uh, videos and everything seems to go perfect all the time. It doesn't always go perfect. Sometimes it's a little tough to get shit done. So, um, it almost looked like a little bit of a disaster, but it actually came together good. And um, uh, hopefully this gave you a different idea on what to do with some chicken and some bacon, right? Uh, <laughs> dude, there are, oh, actually, there is a thing that I do use for a paper towel uh, stand, John. John said something about a paper towel stand with grilled beast on it. Uh, a friend of mine made me a brand. Uh, it's a branding iron, and it has the beast on it. It's freaking awesome. Uh, but I use that for a paper towel thing, so, uh, paper towel holder sometimes. How you doing, Emily? Uh, nothing like sizzle. Oh, so could you all hear the sizzle when I put it on? I wasn't sure if you were able to hear it. Um, so, okay, so I didn't use a smoker this time, but that is a barrel house smoker behind me, two of them. I used the Weber grill. Um, I could have done those on the wet, on the barrel house, but um, you really need, uh, I mean, for me, anytime I do anything with bacon, I do high heat, you know, 400, 450, 500 degrees, you know what I mean? So um, it kind of depends. I mean, I see people, they do things with bacon at 225. Uh, I just don't do it that way. Um, how you doing, Brian? Hey, Brian, if you missed it, the good thing about this is it's recorded and um, and you can go watch it 10 times. You know what I mean? And I know Ace is supposed to be downloading all these, posting them on the website, making sure they're on YouTube, all that kind of good stuff. So Ace, if you're watching, people are wondering where these videos are. All right. So anyway, um, does anybody have any questions about any of it? It's all pretty simple, right? Um we are going to get into teaching y'all how to do some rubs here soon. Um, try to give you the basics and help you come up with ways to come up with new rubs, right? So that way you don't always have to buy the stuff in the store. We're actually coming out with rubs this year too. I think we have that figured out. Um, it seems like every time we thought we had it figured out, had a place to do our mixing for us, uh, stuff seems to fall through. So, but I think we have it now. I'm not sure. All right. Anyway, uh, does anybody have any questions about anything? I, I don't see any questions at all. So, look, these are going to be on for a good 25 minutes. Um, let me see. So, Sal wants to know when your coals are going do you preheat the coals or drop them in? So before I even started the show, um, I had that thing rocking at 400 degrees. Um, I have done shows where I started the charcoal right during at the beginning of the show, and then something goes wrong, and um, so I try to make sure them coals are going good before I start the show. Um, so yeah, I'm using uh, natural charcoal. Uh, Am I pronouncing your name right? Baph? B-A-P-H? Baph? I met. Um, yeah, so I'm using natural wood charcoal. Uh, Michael, I love the new rub. You know, yeah, so, um, no, we're going to be having um, some great, awesome rubs, and we're also going to teach you how to do some rubs, give you some rub recipes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and we got, like, a lot of good stuff with marinades and rubs coming up this year. Um, what else? Okay, so Bath's name is actually Troy. All right, Troy, thanks for that. Um, anyway, any more questions from anybody? And look, um, if you are trying to take a, advantage of our kick-ass deals that we got going on, um, you need to do it before tomorrow night because those deals will be gone. We might be doing some other deals. Uh, we have to see how inventory is. But, um, it was, yeah, so that was, um, a mixture of onion powder, 
garlic salt, white pepper, black pepper, paprika. Like I said, there's something else in it. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer did have an awesome Thanksgiving. I did a ham. I did a turkey. Um, some cranberry sauce. You know, made your own cranberry sauce. Uh, stuffing. Um, green beans, peas. Um, you know, there's kick-ass rolls you buy. You just preheat them up. I love those things. Uh, apple pie and... Um, J.O. Spice in Baltimore. I used to live in Baltimore, Ron. I uh, lived there for like 18 years. Um, I think Baltimore is awesome. That's one of my favorite cities. <clears throat> so, um, Ray. Yeah, so this is, I mean, this is what I do every Sunday is I do the show and I have a drink, you know. Uh, this is my time I can kind of spend with you guys and answer questions directly. You know, you guys are welcome to ask questions about what we did today, or what we did two weeks ago, about the company, about products. Um, so uh, a guy that used to work for us um, had had a local company that was near him. I don't know. The, I don't remember the name of the company, uh, but he he did the banner. Michael asked who did our banner for us. Um, so we we've, we've had these banners for a while. Um, so let me see, let me see. Who else? Been smoking. All right. So Troy's been smoking for 17 years. Holy crap, man. Um, no, man. So I know there's a lot of people that that watch this show or in our group that um, that know a ton more than I do. You know. So uh, what I try to do is kind of bring you some ideas on things that you might not think to do. Um, some. Uh, appetizer type ideas. I mean, we could talk about smoking ribs and brisket, but I mean, everybody talks about that shit, you know. Um, I don't think I can bring you any ideas with that, you know. So hopefully, whatever we do here helps you, brings you an idea, does something. I don't know. Um, I like doing it. Hey, John. Um, but anyway, um, does anybody else have any more questions? Let me see. Uh, I did the turkey you did. It turned out great. Yeah, so sometimes if it, with that um, the baking powder, if it's not mixed in with the enough salt, maybe in that spot, it can give you a little powdery spot. But, you know, it's all about practice. You know, um, I did, I think, four turkeys this year throughout the couple weeks. And, and one of mine had powdery spot on it. You know, it's not going to be perfect every time, you know. Um, so hopefully I'm going to be doing a duck next weekend. And I don't know that I'm going to do that, that crispy skin thing. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, and that's the whole thing, too. So you take what I show you and you add to it or you change it up because it's not an exact science all the time. Um, it's just the way I do it. And. The next time I do it, I might do it a little bit different, you know, just to try a different way, see if it comes out better. Um, so cool, Lucas. So Lucas did his first turkey ever. All right, cool. Uh, get my ducks in a row. No, right, John. Uh, I did not have my ducks in a row for this weekend. That's why we didn't do duck today. Um, does anybody know how long this stuff has been in? Not near long enough. So they actually turned out, my actual plan was for them to be smaller than what they are. So I'm going to have to work on this idea a little bit because I wanted them to be to where one piece of bacon would wrap around and not three. You know, they were just too, they're actually fatter than I wanted them to be. But, I mean, they're still going to be great. They're going to be awesome. Uh, how about a quick weeknight family meal next time? Um... Yeah, so Sal, so I, I kind of switch it up a little bit. Sometimes I do appetizers, sometimes I do um, meals. And this actually could almost be a meal. That, Like I said, they're bigger than what I wanted them to be. So I'm going to have to work on the, the execution here. Maybe I'm going to have to do little smaller little s strips like that. And um, anytime you have multiple things and you're wrapping it in a bacon, it just every time you add an ingredient, 
it makes it harder to wrap the bacon. So I don't know if you've done the bacon wrapped um, so, all right, so hold on. Let me finish this thought. So if you've done the, the bacon-wrapped onion rings, um, they're not too hard, right? But you've got to be careful not to break the onion. So you do, it's, it is a little bit delicate. But I've tried to do it where I added pineapple in there. That changes the whole game. Uh, if you can get it wrapped, it changes the whole game because it's, the flavor is freaking outrageous. But it's... A, a hundred times harder to wrap a pineapple and onion together. Yeah, I don't know if, if, if anybody's ever tried to do that, but it just every time you add some. So here I'm adding two and three and four things together and then trying to wrap it. So um, I do have a couple thoughts on the way I could do it better next time. One, maybe I will pound it out so I can roll things a little bit. But maybe I'll cut everything a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, right. So John talked about do two onion rings with burger in it also. Same thing, man. That's, it's it's freaking, it's very tedious. So you have to actually take your time. And when you're doing it live on camera, it adds a little bit of stress to it. So Because it wasn't going like I planned. Not, not at all. But it came together. It's going to be good. Uh, it's not really going to be finger food like I planned on it being because it's freaking huge. But, you know, you could just take it and eat it. But it's, I don't know. You know, this is, uh, it's, an, it's always an experiment. Anytime you cook and you try something that you've never tried before. Um, there's lots of people out there that probably say, I should have done it first before I did it on camera, but I don't care. I, w I would rather you all see me have a hard time doing something than to think that it's not, it's, it's always easy because it's not always easy. Rob, it's over. I've already done it. Rob's telling me to quit talking and get on with it. Um, I actually had somebody else uh, complain about my talking too. So anyway, I've already done it, Rob. So if you rewind, go to the beginning, you'll see um, what I was, I was cut everything up and I wrapped it all. Uh, I filleted some, some chicken breast, stuffed it with a bunch of stuff, wrapped it in bacon. It's already on the grill smoking, dude. Or, or, or grilling. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, so, right now, I'm just running my mouth, answering questions, and uh, seeing if I can help anybody. Because that's really what this is all about, seeing if I can help somebody. Um, so, uh, so if you all have questions, ask. If not, we can cut out. But um, that's going to cook for about 20, 25 minutes at high heat on your grill. All right, so whether you have a gas grill or whatever you got, it's indirect heat. Um, and bacon usually takes 20, 25 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so, and at that, your, your, your chicken's going to be done too. So, um, all good, bro. Happy Sunday. Yep, cool, man. Hey, Kip, how you doing? It's a day late and a dollar short, like usual. Oh, Kip's, Kip, you're late, but you can watch the rerun, man. Um, how would you do smoked? Oh, dude, so smoked macaroni and cheese. Maybe I should do that, right? You just do you do the same thing, right? Do the same thing you do in the oven. Um, just put it in the grill and don't cover it up. And, it'll get, you know, you'll get that little smoky taste to it, okay? Uh, my turkey came out. Oh, Dan, awesome. Hey, say, Dan, did you do um, the recipe I did on the show a couple weeks ago? Um, if you did, let me know. Um, John, didn't you already ask who did the banner, John? Um, I can't remember the name of the company. Um, I can if, if, if you need something like that done, I can get the name. Um, if you email me at david at grillbeast.com, I can get you the name. Um, um, all right, cool, Dan. So look, whenever you guys do, um, anything off these shows, let me know how it turns out. And if you have a problem, let me know. Maybe I can help you uh, make it better, right? Uh, Johnny Spears. Yeah, man. It's, oh, it's the food's on the grill. Uh, I will post pictures of the finished product. <laughs> product. It's not for sale, but it's still, I guess, called a product. Um, uh, in the group. That way we can all see it. 
And uh, so, yeah, Troy, I'm drinking a, a vodka and grapefruit juice. Apparently my favorite drink for the past eight months anyway. And uh, next year it might be something different. You know how you get tired of shit. Um, look, any other questions? Questions, company questions, product questions, grilling questions, life questions. If I can help you, I will. All right. Look, I'm just kind of being funny right now. Look, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, these will be done in probably about 15 minutes or so. Oh, the sriracha dipping sauce. So. Got all about the dipping sauce. All right, so the sriracha dipping sauce is this: half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of sriracha, which is really kind of a guesstimate. Half a teaspoon of paprika, same thing, a guesstimate. Some lime juice, salt and pepper. Let's mix that shit up real quick. All right. All right. So. Where's my little bowl? Hold up. All right, so, so when these come out, um, a little bit of dipping sauce with, with it, or you can just put a little bit of sauce on it, um, would be great too. So you wanna do about, About a half a cup or so, whatever, you know, of mayo. Okay. And then you want to do a couple tablespoons of sriracha, which we'll just say is like that, like that, maybe a little extra. We we'll do couple teaspoons of paprika, which, oh, half a teaspoon of paprika, something like that, and a lime. So we only need a wedge of lime here. All right, and then you just mix it up. See that? So, this can be this can be used for all sorts of things. Um, you can use it on chicken strips. You can use it on the bacon wrapped onions. Freaking awesome! Um, well, anything. So anyway, yeah. So I almost forgot to even mix that up. So whenever this, uh, let us know. It turns out, demo. So. It's the same sauce, no lime. Uh, oh, yeah, Ron. So, yeah, that's good for french fries, onion rings. Um, that's cooking right off. So, it's probably got another 15 minutes. Um, I will definitely let you know. I'll take pictures, um, Johnny, and uh, I'll post it in the group. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I hope, again, I hope somebody got something out of this. I hope you got an idea. Um, if you do it, let me know. Um, and uh, I'm going to wrap this up so I can clean this mess up and relax and get my day going. All right? So, love you. I'm very honored that you guys showed up. I really am. I know there's not a whole lot of people on right this minute. We had about 100 people on all together a little bit ago. But we've been on a while. And there's no food action going on anymore. So, people get bored. Anyway, peace out, love you, and we will talk later.